Hey friends, my name is C, and you're watching Easy Mr. Easy. Welcome to a new video for IGCC MX, and today we have the questions video for kinematics. And these questions are from this website right here, so I'll link it in the description for you to check it out. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any, any future videos. And we'll get started with question 1. So these two people are traveling from Bangkok to this place right here. Pop travels at a velocity of, given by Vp equals 50 minus t square, where t is in seconds and the velocity is in meter per second. Wind's displacement from Bangkok in meters is given by s equals 2t square plus 70. And when t equals 0 or the initial point, both vehicles are at the same point, so this is very important. Find Pop's displa displacement from Bangkok when t equals 5. So whenever you have this velocity right here and you're trying to find the, the, the displacement, it's quite important that it, to see whether it's there's, there's like turning points within the range of time. So what I mean is that let's say the first five seconds pop travels at this distance, but if the but within the five seconds if there were to be like turning points from here, let's say you go here, then you turn back from here, that means that the, the displacement from Bangkok will be less, right? Assuming that this is Bangkok. So what we have to do is that we have to set the, uh, the v equals zero equals 50 minus t square to see where the turning points are in terms of like what time it is and if we solve for t, t it will equal to 7.1 seconds that means that the turning point is in 7.1 seconds and it's way out of our range from 0 to 5 because we're only concerned to 5 that means that we don't have to be uh, we don't have to care about the turning point so let's just rub this out so now we can see that this is an important piece of information when t equals 0, both vehicles are at the same point. And we know that waste displacement from Bangkok in meters is given by this right here. That means that we can model, we can find out the, uh, the displacement from Bangkok when t equals 0. So sw equals 2t squared plus 70. And when t equals 0, it will be 70 meter, right? That means that when t equals 0, waste displacement, uh, displacement from Bangkok is 70 meter. That means that it will also equal to the displacement of the displacement of um, pop when t equals zero, right? That's one piece of information. Now we have to find um, the, dis the distance travel uh, from pop in the first first five seconds. So we know that we have pop's um, uh, velocity formula, which is Vp equals fifty minus t squared. We can basically just integrate this to get um to get this uh, displacement or like distance, so the displacement will be equal to the integral. Oh, sorry, the integral of fifty minus t squared dt from zero to five because those are the five seconds and zero second. So that will get us a value of fifty. Oops, sorry, zoom in. That will get us fifty t minus a third t cubed from 0 to 5 and if you put into our calculator it will just be 50 t squared 50 times 5 minus a third times 5 cubed and for the 0 they just cancel out so it doesn't really matter so it will be 50 times 5 minus a third 1 over 3 times 5 cubed so so you get 625 over 3 meter and that corresponds to 208.33 recurring meters and because we know that at t equals 0, Pop's displacement is equal to Wee's displacement, which is 70 meter from Bangkok, that means, we, that means we have to add 70 to 625 over 3 meters. So therefore the displacement will be equal to displacement. We equal to 70, oops, 70 plus 625 over 3, 5. So 625 over 3 plus 70 meter will get us 835 over 3 meters. And I'll, I'll leave it as a fraction. So 835 over 3 meter. And that's the answer. So, so part 2. A motor train is placed on the length of like on the length of a straight track. It begins with a constant acceleration, then slows down with constant deceleration and then slows down. So we'll focus on the first part first. It begins with a constant acceleration of 4-5 seconds after like, reaching a velocity of 6 meters per second. 
So we know that we need like 5 seconds here, 5, and the velocity of 6. And we know that we, it starts from rest, therefore we can go, it will go through the origin to 6 uh, meter per second, right? So start from origin here, we'll go from this right here, right, the first part of the journey. So let's, let's, let's label it as A, B, and C. So this part here is A. So, in B, it then slows down with a constant deceleration of 1 meter per second for 3 seconds. So it will be the next 3 seconds, which is 5, like 5 to 6, 6, 7, 8, like so, until here. So we know that it decelerates at a constant uh, deceleration of 1 meter per second, which means that for every second that it passes through, like it, it passes, it de it, um, the velocity decreases by 1, right? Therefore, from 6 seconds, you get from 6 to 5 to 4 to 3 because it passes through 3 seconds, right? So it will go from 6 to 3 seconds and it will end in 8, um, eight seconds. Oh, let me just draw it again. So 6 meter per second to 3 meter per second, when it reaches 8 seconds, right? So we can just confirm this by just doing some basic um, suvat. So the final velocity is 3 minus initial velocity over time taken, which is 8 seconds. Sorry, 8 minus 5, which is 3. So 3, so it'll be minus 3 over 3, which is just minus 1, which is what we're given here. Because constant, uh, a negative constant acceleration is equal to a po positive constant deceleration. So take note of the different deceleration or acceleration. So this is B. And for C, it then slows down slightly more quickly and comes into a complete rest after a further 2 seconds of the constant deceleration. So just basically just connect the dot from here, from this part here, to this part because it just rests in 2 seconds. So from here, you just draw from here to here, and that's the answer. And then we move on to this question right here. The following kinematics formula can be used to work out the distance traveled or the displacement of an object traveling with a constant acceleration, where these are the different uh, notations. So part A, rearrange the formula to make you the subject. So it's basically just rearranging the formula. So the first part would be S equals ut plus half at squared can be written as at squared over 2. Then we can rearrange to get ut equals s equals at squared over 2. And then you get u equals a half, sorry, 1 over t times s minus at squared over 2. And we can further simplify this, right? We can just times everything by t. So it times everything by 1 over t. So u equals s over t minus at squared over 2t. And we know that the t cancel out, so we just cancel this one out. Cancel this t and cancel a square to get this right here. So I can choose to uh, like basically just change the denominator to fit into 2t. But in this case, I'll just leave it here so that it looks more simpler. So therefore you, let me just write this out, therefore u equals s over t minus a t over 2. And to, um, to demonstrate what I meant by just combining the two equations, so expressions, it will be 2s minus a t squared over 2t if we, if we were to combine the denominator. And b, what units will be associated with speed in this case? And because we know that initial speed, and we know that speed is measured in meter per second, therefore the units will be in meter per second. Oh, let, me, let me use this new color. So the speed will be in meter per second. And, uh, sorry, let me just rewrite it. Meter per second. And the units for acceleration will be almost the same as speed, but there will be one more, one more, uh, one over s. Therefore, it will be meter per second squared. Right, so, and we move on to our last question. So they had a skiing race, and here is Marilo's speed time graph for the start from the start of the race. Marilo crossed the finishing line after a time of forty seconds. How long was the race? So in how long in terms of um the distance, which in this case it will be meters. 
So we know that the area under speed time graph will be distance. So let me start here. Area under st equals distance. Or I should say vt so that we don't get confused with displacement. So this is velocity time graph equals distance or displacement. So we can therefore just, just find the area. So a, oops, a distance is equal to the area right here, which is equal to the area under a 0 to 40 seconds. So here's 40 seconds right here. And let me just draw a straight line. Oops, let me just draw a straight line from here to here. So we have to split this into two different um, two different shapes. So one here and one uh, triangle and one rectangle. So the first triangle will be half base, which is 30, 30 seconds right here, times height. The height will be this point right here, which will be... We know that each two box goes up by one, because you can see 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That means this, the height will be 20, 21, and 22. That means the height will be 22. So the area will be half times 30 times 22 for the triangle. And for the rectangle, it will be 10 times 22, which will get us, I'm just adding them all up. So half times 30, half times 30 times 22, plus 10 times 22, and then we get us 550 meters. So remember the units, 550 meters, and that's the distance. And lastly, Sam finished the finished at a time of 50 seconds, what was his average speed in kilometers per hour for the race? So we know that average speed, average speed is equal to the, the total distance, total distance over total time, right? Total time. And we know that the total distance is already given in part one because uh, Marilo crossed the finishing line after 40 seconds, which corresponds to 550 meters. Therefore, the distance will be, let's put it here, 550 meter over the total time is 50 seconds, right? But the question asks you to find in kilometers per hour. That means we have to convert some units. So 550 meters will be equal to 0 0.55 kilometer, right? 0 0.55, oops. 0 0.55 kilometer and to convert seconds to um to hours we have to see how many seconds are in an hour so we know that uh, one hour consists of let me see right here one hour consists of 60 minutes which is equal times by 60 seconds so one hour is equal to 3600 seconds right so we're trying to find how many hours is in 50 seconds. So from the top to the bottom, you basically times by 50 over 3600, right? Because if you times 3600 times, uh, because if you do 3600 times 50 over 3600, 3, you get 50. So therefore the denominator will be 50 over 3600 hours. And if, I if you type it into a calculator, you get a final value of Let's do it now. 0 0.55 over 50 over 3600 to get 198 over 5, which is equal to 39.6 meter per second. Because it's in, sorry, not meter per second, because we've changed the unit, sorry. It'd be kilometer per hour. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this question. video for IGCC Advanced and today we look into questions for kinematics. And I hope you find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell to let me know any future videos. And if you have any questions regarding my video or my channel or my or any feedback on my channel or my YouTube, you can comment down below and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.emiseasy.com. And I hope you find it useful and helpful and I'll see you on in the next video which will be the rules and examples for vectors which will be the second last lesson or the penultimate lesson for IGCSE at Met which will be interesting. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.